Blue Ice Report for Thursday, March the 14th, 2019, where the artwork changes every second. The living artwork of Guilford. We're going to talk about So how are you? Very good, and you? Good. So why do they call it Blue Ice? Well, they call it Blue Ice because obviously you know that Blue yeah. Ice is the strongest ice. Yep. And why is it so strong? It's because when ice is formed and it gets compressed under high pressure, yeah. it squeezes all the air out of the ice, therefore making the ice extremely clear because there's no impurities in the ice, right. making it stronger. And now when the ice is that clear and it acts as a prism, the density of the ice when light shines through it happens to be at the frequency of blue. So the frequency of dense ice is blue, and they call it blue ice. Strong as yeah. ice going, right? Strong as ice going. That's why when you see waterfalls and in, in, in glaciers, the ice is blue, blue. Right. Oh, and thank you very much. All right, no worries. You see down at the bottom of Cook's Bay, there's quite a few people setting up down there. They're looking for crappy. Might note that I found something left at Guilford Beach that uh, has been lost. I have it. If you know what it is, contact me. We have good solid ice here in Guilford on the 14th of March. People driving out onto Cooks Bay, off the of Contiki, you're looking up towards the second line. You see Gail's hot boxes are mostly off the ice now, by the looks of it. People are driving on the ice, there's no snow, just a bit of slush here and there. But it's all good. Here at uh, Cooks Bay, Guilford. See there's a few huts out. See Gail's hot box huts up the second line. There still have a few out there. Some other permanent huts, not too many. A few uh, portable huts. All permanent huts must be off the ice by the 15th. There's a vehicle driving around out there right now on about 20 inches of ice. You see there's other people, uh, huts out. Not a lot of huts. You see Terry has quite a few huts out still. And down to the bottom, we'll see a whole bunch of people looking for crappy. Up to the second line where we see uh, Donnie, Gail's hot boxes are coming off. Here, up near the second line where you see they're still driving on the ice. You see Donnie of the hot box huts are bringing his huts in close to shore. And it's just a little after 12 and it just started to rain right now. Up in front of Monterino Marina where they have the bubblers going so the got to be careful don't go near the marina entrance. We can see uh, Rob Crosby's uh, Jay's huts are beginning to come off the ice. Look over to where Lucky Sons wear, and they're, they're all gone. Here's a balance of Jay's huts here at shore. Up to Ennisville Beach Park, where we see there's one lonely hut out. I don't see anything else out here. Right at Ennisville Beach Park. Mark's going out to get the, another hut. Terry's gone out to get some customers. Another car going down to the per, uh, crappy grounds. Five o'clock, Thursday afternoon. We see a, a Spencer. It's just around five o'clock now. The rain has stopped. There's no wind. The cell border, uh, border there. Just standing there, not going anywhere. He got a little wind. 
having a ride. From Guilford, the Blue Ice Report. Hey guys, how'd you make out today? Good. You had a lot of fun? Yeah. Caught some fish? Yeah. You guys sing together? No. No? <laughs> All right, thanks. There's Terry taking the sets off now. Taking them home.